Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can complete the Nomurugan Pet Battle Dungeon added in patch 8.1, doing a full run with no reviving or no healing your pets. So, to start with, you want to actually accept the quest in Boralus or Dazara Lore to start the Pet Battle Dungeon in Nomurugan. In Boralus, it was just there by your Pet Battle vendor. In Dazara Lore, it's just down here, tucked away in the side in the Hall of Beasts. Talk to the Goblin instead. Once you've accepted your quest, you want to head just outside Nomurugan and do your, well, practice run. This is the run we have to do to start with to unlock the harder one, where you can actually heal and revive your pets. So do that, get to know the dungeon, maybe clear it, try some tactics, and then you want to do the heroic one. Now, if you're struggling with some bosses, looking at Wowhead and some comments, I do have to give them credit for a lot of this, because I actually have really struggled now. Going into this, you want a lot of elemental pets and aquatic pets. These are going to be the two well best types of pets to beat this but the actual best pet that you can get for this is a pet called brute from the druid class order hall in legion now you can actually just solo the first boss and a lot of trash just by using sunlight regrowth and then iron bark like you can just solo this boss and the good thing is as he heals himself you don't have to revive him or heal him not that you can but it's like he's so good now there is actually a store equivalent of that called the blossoming ancient I wouldn't really recommend or try to endorse buying a store pet to complete this, but just to let you know, just in case. But if you have Brute, this is going to make this a whole lot easier for you. Once you've killed the first boss and you jump down, you will fight the well, the living elementals down the bottom. And this is where aquatic pets come in really handy because they're actually really good. But because it's trash, as you fight the elemental pets they usually have two other random pets in the back that join in which most of the time are mechanical pets for this i would honestly just recommending using any aquatic pet which has like water jet or pump the pandar and striders are usually pretty good for this then get then grab brute again because he's just going to be able to take out all of the uh, mechanical trash that joins in and then as a third pet just use any third pet that you know is pretty good that is probably expendable one that you know that you probably won't use just as a backup pet to ensure that just in case this goes wrong or brute for some reason doesn't pull through you have that ready to go now the next boss is the door controls now when you look at these they're clearly mechanicals and if you highlight them it says they're mechanical but when you go into the pet battle they're actually flagged as elemental so for this you want to be using some snail pets so you want to use two snails and then one water strider again because like i said aquatic is very good against elemental now as for the snails i do have all of my pets and their abilities listed in the description down below but it is really a case of using the abilities very well very smartly because the very first snail you want to make sure you have shell shield which shields you from the fire damage that is done by the uh, Scorched Earth. And then for the next one, you want to have Acidic Goo and use Dive just as the Ice Bomb is about to drop on you. And then as for the third one, use your Water Strider with your Water Jet and then you just take out the, the last elemental with ease. If you can do this correctly with the two snails, very easy. Like, very hard boss, but made very easy with that tactic. Just make sure you have those two snails, make sure you have shell shield on one of them. Maybe attempt to practice that technique in normal mode just to get it down. That is probably more the trickier ones. And then we just have the trash. We have the leper rat and the cockroach. The leper rat, again, you want to be using brute because of mechanical trash. He's just a god, a literal god. And then you want to make sure that you have uh, any bunny type pets bunnies are good because they have these little scratch abilities which are actually powerful against undead creatures so it's just going to make your life a little bit easier dealing with the leper rats and then with the cockroach i'm just using this i believe it's like a a chip <laughs> a chipmunk that has bite which is a critter which is powerful against critters pretty simple and then obviously again brute and then i have another dust bunny because the leper rats tend to like to join in as secondary trash next boss the bloated rat this is where this is where it gets a little tricky i say i said that last boss but this is where it gets tricky if you don't have this exact comp so you want to be using the unborn valkyr you also want to be using two zandalari pets i'm using two zandalari pets i've nicknamed them speed biter and vicious I use, i've used these for years but i actually have them down in the description below if you're curious as well you want to make sure that you use curse of doom then use horn 
Now, there is a point to this, because when the bloated rat actually dies, it kills your current active pet. So, bear with me, this will make sense, and this is a strat that I've taken straight from Wowhead. I'm not going to take any credit for this, because this is... On, this is genius. They didn't want to apply Black Claw and then use Hunting Party, Stampede it down. You may think, well, that's pretty normal. What's special about this? People have been using the whole Stampede tactic for years with the Unborn Valkyr. It's nothing special, but... Okay, the rat's going to come back. Now he's undead. He can't be killed for a round. You have one pet left. What's going to happen? Because when this round ends, that, that rat is going to die. And when that rat dies, it's going to kill your current pet, which means I'm going to lose. But because the unborn Valkyr used Horn, once that pet died, my unborn Valkyr came back to life at the same time my other pet died. So because my unborn Valkyr came back up, it flagged me as winning the fight. It's not exploitative, it's just genius. So whoever came up with that on Wowhead, credits in the description below because that one honestly is genius. Next up, we just have three more mechanical trash packs. Again, I use Brute, and I'm also using uh, just any elemental pets like the fire elementals. And then we get to the last boss. Now, this is another tactic that I found to be absolute genius. You want to be using Icky, the electrified razor tooth. And then I have a third pet, which I have in the description below, but really, you don't even need it. You only need the first two pets. Now, you want to use your flock ability with Icky. You'll then get tagged out, and then Lightning Shield is the real winner here. Now, this boss isn't even going to get a chance to blink, because Lightning Shield, along with the stacking damage he's taking from flock... Trust me, if you've had problems with this boss, you're about to see him... Oh, he's dead. I'm thinking, oh, he's going to come back to life, because, you know, if you've done this boss, you realize he's not that easy. Okay, he's come back to life. Interesting. Let's use Jolt this time. Let, let's fire an ability. Oh, he's dead again. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, we won. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, we won. Okay. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Genius. I'm not, I'm not taking credit for these. I struggled with these bosses. I did the first two pet battle dungeons and I made my own tactics and covered them in videos. This one I actually really struggled with. So I'm crediting Wowhead and the people that made some of those guides for these pet battles on there. And a lot of the strats that I've seen people come up with on that guide are in the comment section of Genius. So again, all my pet links, all my links to my pets that I use are in the description down below. And hopefully you can keep up with the video to kind of see what pets I use and what abilities in that, in that scenario. But that's all for this one. Links are down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.